You're a mature woman. You've got your life together. Something's missing. You're not sleeping with a man. You don't have a man making love to you. You don't have a man awakening your estrogen hormones. And a lot of women get over in their 70s and they think, oh, I'm not all, but they think, oh, no more sex for me. I don't have enough estrogen. It's all dry down there and it will get dry. It will be painful if you don't make enough estrogen. So basically, I have students who are in their 70s, almost 80s, who are having great sex every week. And this is another dynamic I want women to know in the dating is once you once you start having sex, and I'm all about don't have sex until you feel completely free to express your mind. Then don't have sex until you feel completely free to express your feelings. And he's interested in your feelings. See, so you have to undress. Do you undress physically first? No. You start with your mind, then with your heart, and your heart opens as he does things for you. He does things for you. He's got to do things so you can then actually feel, not fabricate, actually feel appreciation. When you feel a lot of appreciation and when you feel, I trust him to do what he can for me, I can depend on him. That's when you ask for help. You're expressing trust. Why do women not ask for help? They don't trust. You're going to get a positive response. And there's a reality to this, which is why you don't trust, is there's this thing that men do when they when they are asked to do something that they don't think there's going to be a big enough reward. They grumble. Now, I'm looking at my dog right now. It reminds me of this. When a, when, a, when a man grumbles, it's like a dog barking, but his tail is wagging. When a woman barks, her tail is not wagging. Okay. It's very That's the truth. <laughs> like, you know, it, I say, honey, would you pick up my clothes at the cleaners? And she said, but I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this. And I said, really, really, I need you to pick my clothes. So she really, she's going to do it because I persuaded her to do it. But she's going to remember that always. She holds on to these things. She resents him for, you know, demanding more of her. Men are not that way. Uh, here's an example of how men's mood shifts. When we got a little dog, uh, she was bringing, you know, she wanted the dog. I set it up so I didn't want to be so involved with the dog so I wouldn't have to do everything. So, but we got the little dog and she took, the, you have to bring the dog for shots for three times to the vet. First time she goes, she... Complain. It's her little dog. You know, it's her thing. Okay, you can do your thing. So she takes the dog to the vet and she crumb. She comes back telling me how off it was. It was such a long drive. Why isn't there one closer? There, the other dogs are barking. Our dog's very protective. I got angry. And I said, oh, you know, she just tells me the story. I said, what a bummer. That's awful. She does it again, off on her own. Then the third time she says, John, do you want to take the dog to the vet? I said, no, because men are very literal. Do you want to take, no, why don't you? Well, you've talked about how terrible it is to go to the vet. So why would I want to do that? But if you'd like me to, if it would make you happy, then I'll be happy to do it. She goes, that's impossible. How can you be happy to do it if you don't want to do it? Well, I didn't want to do it until I learned that it would be make you very happy. And I needed to hear it, that you're happy. Then I go, well, if it just makes you happy, this is mineralogical. If it's going to, if it's, if it's a terrible thing to do, I don't want to do that. But if doing that will make you happy, then I want to do it. Suddenly my mood shifts. You know, everybody, men are so easy to motivate and change once you understand this dynamic of giving them, start with little things and then ask them to do it. So she could have said, and we, we learned a lesson from that. It took her a while to figure out that I can do things for her that right away I will have a little grumbles. Eventually they all went away, but I have a little grumbles. And I'm just looking for, in a sense, reassurance that if I do this, it makes a difference. That's all men want to know is it makes a difference. So one time, you know, she she asked me to bring home the milk for the kids. And I forgot and I forgot and I forgot third time. And so then I said, honey, I, I'll get it tomorrow. It was always, I'll, I'll remember tomorrow. But I would forget. My mind doesn't even hook into little things like picking up milk. You know, I'm not like feeding the kids all day, knowing the milk's out, I'm hearing the kids complain about whatever. So, you know, she's got a different reality. And me, it's making money, trying to achieve this goal. I, we were very traditional. I supported her while we had little children. So anyway, she saw me going to bed that night. She saw me moving, very smart. She followed me. And I'm kind of wondering why she's following me. And I pushed it down and I, I taking off my shoes and then she she just sat down next to me. So I'm like wondering what's going on. She says, you know, John, it would be so nice if you went to this, this store and got milk. She didn't say, I've asked you three times and you still haven't done it. She hasn't decided to do it herself. She's training me. Now, 
See, men can be trained. Everything is about training. We have to learn, if I do this, I feel good. If I do this, I don't feel good. That's how we train. So there I am, just tired. And I said, you know, I'll get it tomorrow. I'm really tired. I just want to go to bed. And I did, I'm working really hard. I'm not that tired anymore about anything. But then I was really in the grind of putting in the hours, trying to pay the bills and everything. So I'm really tired. I sat down and she says, I know you work so hard. And then I feel like, okay, I won this argument. I don't have to go. Okay. And he says, bah, 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 bah. create the space. And then, then just be truthful to yourself. It would just be so nice if you went to the store. We'd have milk in the morning. No, really? Look, I promise you. I promise you. Now, she could have said, I've already asked you three times. She didn't. You want to always make the guy successful in any way are neutral, neutral and successful. Don't go to your no good. So then this went on three, maybe four times where I had my little all right, I promise I'll do it. And she says, well, that would be really nice. It's just tomorrow morning. It'd be so good. I feel so good if you went right now. Okay, I'll do it. Now that's the grumbles. Now later on in life, I've been trained. I don't say that, but this is the fear women have. She's going to resent her because women resent when they're pushed to, to be uh, controlled. Mm -hmm. She can control me, but it has to be done in an artful way as a request. It would just be so nice. She must have said it three times. It, you know, it would just be so nice. I'd really love it. And just sat with it, not defending it, not saying you 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 said you'd do it, you didn't do it, not a big story about the kids really need it, you haven't done it. Nothing to make me feel like I'm a, a bad, bad husband. Okay. So three times, it would be so nice. And then I, okay, okay, I'll do it. I analyzed why I had that little tantrum, very little, and it went away very quickly, even if I hadn't analyzed it, because I analyzed it later. I'll tell you what I learned about myself. But I, I kind of like, okay, I'll do it. What a bummer. She's bothering me. And I got in my car. I remember I skidded out and then took off. And as I'm driving down the hill, something happens to the store. Biologically, I now have a new goal. See, women don't have this hormone system. As soon as I had a new goal and I had the ability to get there and pay for it and do it, my testosterone came up. And when so now, you're on, now you're on a mission and you can be successful on this mission, right? That's right. That's right. And the only reason I grumbled even was because I didn't know that I get a big reward for doing it. Because man doesn't think getting milk is a big deal. That's why I forgot the milk three times. Now, even to this day, I sometimes call and say, do you need me to pick up milk? And I do milk runs all the time, just thinking I'm doing this great thing. I got in my car. What man has a problem getting in your car and driving somewhere? Because it feels so good to you. It makes you have a goal. See, when a man has a goal and he has the ability to achieve that goal, no matter how big or small, testosterone is going to go up. So now my testosterone is getting there. And this is what I felt as a guy. I completely forgot about the grumbles. It's all done. It's not history. I don't have to talk about my feelings. <laughs> None of that stuff. I'm a man. I don't have to do that. I have to just solve a problem and my testosterone comes up. So you want to give men problems that they can solve and it can be little things. The training is little things like you gave a great example. Would you put my coat on? You know, it's simple as that. And and also never letting, never paying for a meal for a man when you're dating and asking for his advice at times and asking, you know, I had a hard day today. I want to talk about it for about five minutes. Would you listen? I'll just feel better connecting with you. And he'll say, sure. Well, I don't know why she wants to do this, but I could do that. And then you basically connect with some emotion. You say, I'm so frustrated today. This person said to me, this and this and this. He's going to interrupt you. He's going to say, we shouldn't worry about that. And I said, you're right. You go into, you're right. But I, I, are, I just need to talk about a few minutes and you'll see I'll feel really good. I just need to get it out and I'm done. Okay. So, the, so you share a little bit of your frustrations or you share a little disappointment. You know, I thought this was going to happen. It didn't happen. I'm still concerned because I'm doing this and my kids are having problems at school. Just a little, just to connect with emotion. If you're, uh, if you, if you feel safe to share emotion, your estrogen goes up because those emotions that you have are not safe to be revealed in the workplace. See, you, you, maybe with another girlfriend, you can do that, but not at the workplace. So you're pushing it down and you're pushing it down. And so now you're going to let it out just a little bit. You're training him. He's going to listen for five minutes. You shared a few emotions. The best emotion to ever share with a man is today. I was talking to so-and-so and I completely blew it. I'm so embarrassed. I said this or I said that. Uh, I know for me, I, we had a, a movie star, a, a famous musician. I live in Mill Valley, a lot of musicians here. And she's real famous and she knew of my work. And we sort of met before briefly, saw her again in town. And she wanted to uh, take one of my classes. 
because she'd been burnt out on a tour. That would be really good to take one of your classes. And I said, yeah, that'd be great. And she said, but what about, you know, me being a celebrity, you know, is that going to be okay? And then I said, oh, nobody will know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we laughed about it later. My wife said, you put your foot in your mouth, didn't you? <laughs> I was so embarrassed, okay, that, that I said that. And, you know, you have to let it go. But when when a woman says to her husband uh, that man you're dating, oh, I said this thing, I'm so embarrassed. It's so revealing. See, you're revealing emotionally what you're not going to show anybody. Nobody talks about, oh, I'm so embarrassed I made this mistake or I said this faux pas or this happened to me. You know, so re re revealing. It's like you're unwrapping the, 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 the petals are starting to open up on a flower. You're feeling safer. You're giving him a huge gift by revealing problems that you wouldn't share with anybody else. And not everything at once, okay? You're revealing a little bit more of you. And then say, gosh, I feel so much better. You know, as a woman, sometimes I just need to talk about this for a few minutes and I feel so good. Wow, you just said something magic and instructive as well that a woman can be unhappy and she can move into happiness and I don't have to do anything except listen. So this is a major lesson. Now, my father didn't knew the need to do that for my mother. She didn't share her feelings with my father. She didn't need to have emotional intimacy. She had a, she was in a place where a man provided money for her and protection from her to control the kids. That was enough for her. Lived in a nice neighborhood. So she could have, she got what she needed because she really felt those needs. You don't feel those needs once you can make money. What do you need a man for? So you have to find out and experience what you need a man for, which means to take that risk, ask for him to do something and notice how it makes you feel. And really, like, yeah, this is more me. This is my feminine side. I can ask him to do things. And you, it takes a big risk. I mean, you're, you're gonna ask and sometimes he's gonna grumble a little bit. You'll feel that resistance. You might even anticipate that resistance. And when he does it, just simply, just say what my wife said. It would just be nice. I'd like that a lot. It would make me feel so good. And just let there be a pause. Don't push it, but just say, it would just feel so good. And you, you gradually, little steps, little steps, but asking to do things and and just say, you know, I, I I feel so good when you do little things for me. It just makes me feel open and happy. So that's why I ask for little things. And when you say ask for a little thing, a man doesn't have a problem with that. As long as he knows it's something, even if you can do it yourself, it makes you happier if he does it for you. And not all the time, but that's how you build bonding with a man. And so... So much of the time you're trying to impress a man, don't let him impress you.